I'm Cathy Lakala and I'm the proud owner of three Cavalier King Charles Spaniels. Well, they're just a fun loving little dog to have around and not too much hard work. Just lie around the couch potatoes or you can have lots of fun with them and do agility and run them and things like that. So. Oh, very, very important to do the research because if you want to have a Cavalier, they're a dog that does need plenty of exercise as well. Like I did say, they'll lie around, but you need to have a good sized yard, you know, somewhere where you can run them, take them for walks. If the testing's been done on the parents and it's come up with good results, then you should be all right with a puppy but it, nothing's 100%. If you get a good breeder that will do all the testing and can't get any guarantee from anyone or if you can't see anything in writing on a piece of paper, I'd keep away from that person. Gee, I've been doing it for about 20 years. I started with a Blenheim girl, Angel, yeah, probably about 20 years ago, and then with Julia, my little try girl. She was a beautiful little girl. Yeah, it was just fun. It was good exercise for me. It was a dog training, dog sport for the dogs. It still teaches them some obedience, you know, to come and stay and not run off. Doing the jumps and they get a treat after each jump. They thought, oh, this is fun, you know, I get treats all the time, as you saw before, and then running through tunnels. It was just a good sport for me and a good sport for them. Yes, yeah, a lot of community. And I train down at Gold Coast Dog Training Club and a lot of my friends are from there. I so said, this is Jazz and she's seven years old. She's a tri, which is uh, black, brown and white and I do agility with her as well. And she's now in Masters Jumping, Masters Agility, and I also showed her, so she's an Australian champion. After we finished showing, well, we stopped that and just continued on with doing agility. And she's now in Masters, Masters Jumping, Masters Agility. This is Emily, she's my oldest Cavalier. She's 12 and a half, 13 in July. She's a Blenheim, which is the brown and white. And she competed in agility and she's my master's dog as well. She's done really well. Lots of ribbons, been very successful. And I just did a trick trial with her last year as well. And she also got her first novice tricks. This is Charlotte, she's 18 months old. I'm currently showing her and also getting her ready for agility. Starting her on little things, on um, getting her used to going through tunnels or going over a jump, a bit like what I said before, we'll just do one obstacle and treat as a big reward, big, big reward and treat. Just starting her on that seesaw, so usually when their puppies are about 10 weeks old, I start them on that so that they're used to it and not too scared. We're up to weaving, which is very difficult. Weaving is about the hardest obstacle that you can do. Well, I haven't even started her in a trial yet and she's old enough to trial because she stopped growing. So that's all right on her joints. So it's already taken me 18 months and I'm still not ready. Very, very important to keep their, keep their weight down and keep them active and healthy. Um, they love it. And then when we're training them for agility, we get them lots of treats as they're running around. So it makes them love the game even more. We'll go to Dogs Australia website and find a breeder, do your research and buy a puppy that you like and yeah, take it home and love it forever. They're a fun-loving little dog and they'll give you plenty of love.